smart and they're sent on their way from the 1750 meter marker fire island is one of the trailers early on William Ely with the white head gear now gets passed by Mana Santana swanking is right there Gilded Age is overcoming a draw and now goes off to lead them Fortified is also well positioned shortly after the start. Stunning Guest is racing about five lengths off the leader. Then comes Mumba Duke on the outside, swanking, and then Mr. Raba. At this stage, the grey Mighty Smarts giving them about six or seven lengths start. Fire Islands on the inside of runners. Then Persona Grata. Ice Baron is further back in the run. And on the outside, Pure Quality. Gilded Age now found the lead and goes on towards the 900 meter mark a length and a half. In second is 45 and William Endy just waits at the rail. Swanking's on the move around them and then comes Mana Santana. Also making a move is pure quality. Mumba Duke on the inside, then stunning guest. Fire Island, Mighty Smart, the grand favourite, has got only three behind it. It's about seven lengths off the leader, goes towards the inside. As they come to the 500, William Henley moves up on the inside. Gilded Age, the outside. Mighty Smart goes in, swanking the outside. And then comes Mamba Duke and Fire Island's also running on. William Henley's the leader past the 200. Mighty Smart. Pure Quality's on the outside and Fire Island between the two of them. Mighty Smart is now coming forward to William Henley at the 200 meter marker. And then stunning guess. William Henley and Mighty Smart over the last 100. Mighty Smart, William Henley. There's nothing between the two of them as they come down to the line. I'm not going to split them. William Henley and Mighty Smart over the line as one desperately close. William Henley, Mighty Smart, nothing between the two of them. William Henley, the master of my fate, and down the inside, Mighty Smart, the favorite. And let's just see as they hit the line. Just go another fraction. William Henley won it. Number one won it. William Henley just makes it a mighty smart. Gets beaten that short head into second position. Then it's about six lengths back to Fire Island. Stunning guest. Pure quality is further back in the run down to the line. Followed by Ice Baron. As we continue to look at this. So as we look at the head-on, William Henley's got the white headgear and the grey is mighty smart. And they're having a good struggle, Fire Islands between the two of them. And William Henley with the red cap and the grey mighty smart. So they come together, they have a good tussle from the 200 meter marker. And William Henley's finding that little bit extra mighty smart. William Henley get together, but it goes to number one who pays up at 320 and wins the close decision. Second to number seven, the toad favorite, Mighty Smart. And we'll wait for confirmation, but just on that, number one is the winner, William Henley. And this one for Mark Dixon. Back to the studio. Smart. Now, this is what you call one of those top class performances when it comes down to riding ability and spectacular performances because they went right down to the line. And I thought Muzi rode a clever race. Yes, obviously it's the first run for me. He, he's ridden him the last three times and he knows the horse a lot better than I do on race day anyway. What I said to him is he's been working well, he looks well and let's just hope he can get his head in front. Um, I must be honest, I thought they were going very slowly but uh, he knew what he was doing and obviously rallied very resolutely to the line. I'm just um, glad to have a winner. You know, It's been a bit of a nightmare of lately but um, glad to get his head in front. Thanks to Heinrich and Werner and Chris. Um, just hope we can go on from here now. He looks like a big, strong individual because when he walked into the ring, I said, wow, the favourite's going to have a race on his hands. Yeah, he's a good looking, big, imposing horse, you know, and in theory, obviously, he, he should improve, which he's going to have to do, you know. But uh, I was saying to Heinrich before, the staying races here aren't, aren't, you know, aren't that strong. So maybe we can go on from here and win another couple of races, but uh, that all depends on how much he improves, obviously. I think this will be the turning point, so we'll wait and see. I hope you're right, Sheldon. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get the winning connections through. They came down, they've made the trip, and as they say, you've come, you've seen, and you've conquered. You had to sweat a bit. Yeah, I think it was a nice race. He ran a good race. I mean, 
seven road, you know, you know, seven places from ten starts. I, I think he was even with the shot. Now coming to the top of the lane, he seemed to slip away, and at the 300 he had a race on his hands. So did you get a good scream in? Yeah, I was confident in Muzi's ability. I mean, we left it up to him, and um, you know, well done to Muzi. Well, super. Enjoy the victory. You had to wait for the luck he lost. Thanks. Yeah, just um, thanks to Mark for doing a wonderful job with the horse. Muzi, wonderful as always, and to the partners, Christian, Naidu, and uh, my family at home. Well done. Cheers. Last say of the day for Muzi Yeni. Now, we already given right of the day, but this would have been nominated the top two because you had to work there. But I thought a clever move when you just started to spin for home. Yes, um, I thought I had the race a little bit under control, but I had uh, some apprentices on the outside in the back stretch, and I wanted to switch off, and he was racing a little bit. I was a little bit concerned. Eventually, I got them to come around, and once I hit the first false rail, she took the bridle and <laughs> cruised up a bit sooner than I wanted, so that's why I kind of had to wait at, that, at about the 500 into the run into the 400, and she showed a little bit of courage. I was really concerned about the three-year-olds. You know, they're, they're improving horses, and they're well-weighted this time of the year, so I was concerned. But this was short guts, and uh, he really helped me get him past the post. Now, coming to the 200, Sean looked to move up. Did he actually go past, or did you always have your head in front? I just had my head in front, but uh, I thought I'd made him stretch to get to me. Maybe it might help me enough, but this horse was courageous. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Mr. Heinrich. I really want to thank him. He really puts in a word to ride a couple of his horses, and I want to really want to thank him. It's nice to have him here. Krish, Mr. Upflesh, also part of the support, so thank you very much, guys. And uh, to my Hollywood sponsor, sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> I found you out. Maybe James will forgive me and Owen, but maybe next time. Maybe I must ride it. I don't know. But to winning form, thank you. There we have it. Muzi Yeni on number one, William Henley. Like we said, it looked to be a match race. Marty Smart. But just look at the top of the lane. William Henley, he just sped away, which probably saved the day.